Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rock the light. Yeah. You want to bum it? Real shit. Hey. Okay, nah. Hey. Hey. I done checked the bag. I'ma check some more. Ain't no checking me. You better check your whore. You looking like a pawn on the checkerboard. We playing chess. This ain't checkerboard. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I hope all is well. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I have been hit up a lot of times today with people asking me, what's going on with Sue Surf? Has Sue Surf been arrested? Is it a RICO? And a lot of things like that. Now, I will say that I do try to pride myself in getting the best information possible because I know it's a lot of people that subscribe and watch this content. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I will say this, I did speak to Sue Surf. He hit me up. Uh, he's not in jail, but he is definitely facing some serious charges. What I will say is this, um, I know there's a lot of people out there who's just gonna automatically think that, oh, Surf is out here still doing things that he's not supposed to be doing. He did tell me that he is blindsided. When I say blindsided, it means you do not know what the reason is for everything that's going on right now. I did state in my other blog that, dude, you got everything going on right now. The world is in front of you. You just did Rolling Loud. You just came off of Summer Madness and that you have so much going on for you. Uh, he did state, and I quote, these specific words, what you do in the past can catch up to you. You know what I'm saying? And he's basically letting me know that it is a federal RICO indictment out of New Jersey. He does not know everything that that indictment entails and he will find out within the coming days and weeks. But, you know, I wanted to definitely be able to, you know, theoretically let you know what's going on because like I said, I don't want to sit here and slander or tear someone down when they're facing a situation that could potentially have a lot of implications in it uh you know he's definitely you know getting his affairs in order and handling the things that he needs to handle and he definitely should be given his due date you know what i'm saying he will definitely get that but uh as as of what we know right now you know i want to debunk a couple rumors out there you know and, and the thing is he's not mad he's explained it to me when we spoke that he's not mad that people are talking about it or whatever case may be he understands that he's a public figure in the position that he stands in and i let him know that vehemently i said look you're a public figure you are known you're very popular and you're one of the top in battle rap if something happens or this type of stuff pops up everybody's going to be speaking about it it's not a lot of diligence that you can do when you hear someone has been arrested you know what i'm saying but uh He's not. Like I said, when I spoke to him, he saw the blog from earlier. We did speak about it. And I wanted to get the word out there the right way and continue to let you guys know that uh, Sue Surf is going to fight whatever's in front of him. And, you know, he'll definitely deal with it from a heads on perspective. But from our conversation, you know, we definitely put some things in order. And he did let me know where it was coming from. He said that he didn't know how everybody knows that it's a Rico. Um, it's Biscuit one of the bigger bloggers, you know what I'm saying? He covers a lot of hip hop and things like that. He was one of the first people that had tweeted that Sue Surf had got caught up in a federal RICO. He said Sue Surf just got hit with a RICO. Now, the thing is, these RICO cases, I wanna just you know tell you some things from what I've seen online and you know things that I've seen on TV and things like that. The RICO uh, is a very, 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 very tough case to fight you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people that you know whether they've been in jail or they haven't been in jail everybody knows that the rico uh, involves a lot of different crimes i'll read you some things this is what is a rico charge a rico involves 35 crimes including murder kidnapping slavery human smuggling and any money related charges such as embezzlement money laundering those charged under the rico act can face a maximum of 20 years in prison and an ultimate and a fine of over two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars it says the rico is a uh, corrupt racketeer influence corrupt organizations act the united states federal law provides that it's extended criminal penalties for civil actions basically the rico was created in 1970 it was an act that was used to get gangs and to get corrupt organizations to get the mob to get john Gotti 
off the streets. That's what the RICO was created for. And there's a whole lot of famous, well-known RICO cases, cases that are out there. Young Gunner, I mean, Young Thug and Gunner are currently wrapped up in their RICO case. Uh, YF and Lucci is currently wrapped up in a RICO case. Uh, Hood Rich Pablo Juan, it's a lot of rappers. And that's why I state these hip hop police, these cops, these they're, they're all over hip hop right now. Cause hip hop is, you know, it's a really popular thing right now. And battle rap is like a little cousin or a nephew to, to, to real hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And then you see an artist that's doing things on the level of what Sue Surf is, you know they're watching. But I will say this, uh, I'm just glad that he made the changes. He told me in our conversation that he's been in Atlanta for quite some time. He'd be on his own. Like, that's the one thing that I wanted to remove, the one narrative that I wanted to remove from previous conversation is that he's still out in the streets doing things that he's not supposed to be doing because it's quite obviously telling me that he's not. You know what I mean? So um, we will see where the ball or where the dice roll, but in correspondence to the situation right now, as we speak, Sue Surf is not in jail, you know what I'm saying? Um, that probably will change in the coming days or the coming weeks as he presents himself to fight this case. You're obviously gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to go through due process and things like that. But at the same time, you know, I know that hopefully he does the things that he needs to do, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, his lawyers and things like that, he's gonna have his day and he's gonna be able to fight whatever's in front of him, you know what I'm saying? And it's just another chapter in the book of Sue Surf, you know what I'm saying? That's why when I made the blog earlier, I was disappointed. You could tell it in my voice, you could tell it in my demeanor, because like I said, I do have a relationship with Sue Surf. We cool, we speak, you know what I'm saying? He hits me up about blogs, he asks me about different topics and things that I talked about, or, you know, and he understands, that's the one thing I will say, he does understand how important he is to battle rap and how important his image and his brand is too, you know what I'm saying? And um, what I will say is like, in our conversation, you know, he seemed like, you know, he, he definitely understands what's going on. He knows the severity of it, but I could definitely tell that it was like out the blue. Like he's blindsided by it just like we are. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why niggas are like, what? What the fuck is going on? Like, what you mean? Like, this nigga's really working right now. He ain't got no time for that. Like, what? No way. But um, I will say that uh, I was able to debunk a couple of things, you know, people were saying that he was a rape. And that's the thing, I don't understand why people who, if they have access to him or they speak to him or they know how to get in contact with him, why would they say free him? I think that's the reason why so many people and so much traction picked up in a short amount of time because you're the number one trend. You was trending and it was not trending in a good reason. And I think that's the reason why so many people may have jumped the gun in regards to your status. But uh, like I said, uh, businessman, father, battle rapper, you know what I'm saying? He's one of our own. Like, this is one of the ones in this culture. There's people who are gonna watch this. I know there's gonna be a lot of questions. There's gonna be a lot of people that have a lot of things to say, but we definitely spoke today. And, uh, you know, he's definitely got an uphill battle. And, you know, I've seen him, you know, recover from things before. He was 725 and things like that. And it's just another one of these things where I hope that this does not take away one of our uh, one of our one of our battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like we 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 love this entertainment. I've seen people go as far as tweeting battle rap is over, like over as a whole. I don't think it will be over as a whole, but you definitely have a superstar that's got a a, a really a really crazy situation in front of him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, my prayers go out to him, my thoughts go out to him, and I do appreciate him reaching out. He could have reached out, to, he could have told anybody or spoke to anybody about it but he definitely reached out to me and we definitely spoke and I do appreciate and respect that because like I said, you ain't got to tell me a motherfucking thing, you really don't. But uh, you know, it's a series, it is definitely a Rico. That's the one thing I want y'all to get out of this. I want y'all to get a couple things out of this. Three things I want to give y'all to make sure that you get out of this. Number one, he is facing a federal Rico indictment out of New Jersey. Number two, he is not in jail currently. And number three, he has not committed anything in the past, whatever, however long, that we've known and we've seen him doing this new superstar thing where he's battling, you know, he's winning all of these battles and all of that and been living in Atlanta. He's been doing things to get his life together. You know what I'm saying? So, um, unfortunately, this is a, <clears throat> a sad situation and, you know, I hope that, uh, you know, he gets it resolved and gets back to doing the things that we love. But I do take 
what I do seriously and the things that I put out there seriously and the blogs that I upload on this channel seriously because I know that you know my word it goes far and a lot of people watch and a lot of people subscribe and they want to know things you know I was getting messages about this early this morning like six o'clock seven o'clock nine o'clock and I just didn't I was waiting and waiting and waiting and as I seen more free 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 I'm like oh no I know I know and my thoughts were correct I knew he I was hoping he didn't do anything brand new and he didn't but uh these Ricos man <clears throat> the, the, the thing is man all right <clears throat> So if I'm committing crimes, right, and I got people that run with me or a gang or whatever the case may be, and we're making money together, or if, you know, somebody gets into a shoe in but they represent the same crew as me, or, you know what I'm saying, like all of that shit, when they wrap all that shit together, they just try to tie all niggas in, and when they hear that word, you know, the federal, the government has a over 90% conviction rate, and the reason why is because most people cop out before they even go to trial. I've only seen a few people, you know, actually beat it. I know Irv Gotti and them did, but it took them almost $11 million to say that they didn't launder $1 million. So is it really a win because they lost their record label, lost a bunch of money at the end of the day, and things like that, man. But, uh, you know, until more developments and things like that happen, you know, I'm going to, you know, let the, let, the, let the situation play out. But what I will say is uh, salute to Sue Surf. Appreciate you reaching out. Um, you know, I, I definitely got the word and I understand what's going on right now and the severity of it. And I hope all is well. My prayers and thoughts are to you. Salute to everybody, man. Make sure y'all stay safe out there. God bless y'all. Good night.